Hi, it's Joe here for Joyrider TV, and today we're just going to look at some tips for catamaran sailing. Oh yeah. So, when it comes to putting your trolley under your boat, I do see a lot of people struggling with their trolleys. It doesn't need to be hard. You can do this very easily with one person. So what we're doing is using the foot. Holding on to the bridle wires, taking the foot, pushing the trolley under a bit, and then when you're ready, we're just gonna lift up the front and push with the foot. Finish off by pushing with the foot and holding on to the dolphin striker, or if you're not this far back, you could hold on to the jib sheets and push with the foot. And then finishing off with a bit more foot. Easy. And then pulling the trolley out, we have quite a long rope tied to each end of the trolley, so we'll take these like this, making sure we've got them at an even length, so both are tight, and then we could just push up slightly on the front. I'll just wrap that around my hand for a bit of purchase, and then we can pull the trolley out like this. Easy. Okay, so if you ever find it hard getting your mainsail up, there are a few things that you can do to make it easier to get your mainsail up. The first one is to reduce the friction. What you need to do is make sure that your sail and your mast and the wind is all in a straight line. If one of those elements is not in a straight line, it's gonna increase the friction, making it harder to pull the sail up. If the boat isn't perfectly into the wind, we can rotate the mast so that the mast and the sail and the wind are all in line, thus reducing the friction, making it easier to get your sail up. With a boat like a Tiger, when you're dropping the sail as well, the same rules apply when you have to pull the sail up a little bit to unlock it. If you have too much friction, it will make it very hard to drop the sail. The next thing you could do, this is for a Tiger or something similar, is it is traditional to pull the sail up using the halyard from the bottom. But this little plastic wheel at the bottom of the mast does wear and it can cause more friction. So what we do here at Wildwind is we generally take the halyard, this is what I would call tornado style. We take the halyard from the mast track here and actually pull the, the halyard from the mast here, making sure that we're pulling slightly forwards and never back. And it also means it's easier to hoist the sail single-handed on your own. This is some silicon lubricant. You could just spray some of this top uh, meter or so of the bolt rope of the sail, and this will make it a lot easier for your sail to go up. So this is the final tip for this video. You can replace the shackle on your top main sheet block with a snap shackle like this, and this makes it super quick to release your main sheet. If you should ever need to release your main sheet, like when you're rigging or de-rigging the boat, if you're coming into the slipway, or if you just need to release your main sheet from the boom, then all you do is you pull this part, that releases this, and there we go. We use these all the time on all of our catamarans at Wildwind, so there's absolutely no question whether they're strong enough. We've never had one break and they're so quick and easy to use. The only time when you wouldn't want to use a snap shackle would be if you're racing a Hobie 16, as it would mean that you may not be able to sheet in enough. There we go, I hope you have found these tips useful. If there's any other tips that anybody would like to know about any part of the Hobie or general catamaran sailing experience, do let me know in the comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel. And uh, there'll be more coming soon. 
but right now the wind is not good for sailing so we're just waiting for that to change. <laughs> 